I could put him in court tomorrow morning, your time. Uh, two hours from the time it's taken care of. If you want to take down the information now, you can. If you want okay. to call back tomorrow, that's your choice. Okay, no, no, let's do it now because I'd rather him get out sooner than later. You'd rather, okay, but even if you post the bond now, I can only put him in court uh, in roughly eight, 12 hours our time. 12 hours from, from now, the time we're speaking, he can go to court. The bond will be posted, so it'll be automatic once he goes to court. And you do know that the bond is automatically uh, returned to you. You do understand that. As soon as he steps into the courtroom, the funds uh, are it's only contingent on his appearance. And Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a little confused. What does that mean? Like, if I if I can give the funds over to today, does that mean he's out you, tomorrow? Or yeah, you're not giving the funds though. Giving would mean that you would never get your funds back. You're posting a bond. It's called an appearance bond. So in plain English, it means a form of collateral to the court in order to advance his court date. The next court date we have for him is in the month of August. Once you advance it, you got to post money to the court. It puts him in court. Once he's in there, the funds are refunded to you, Then all he has to do is see the judge. The judge automatically will let him go because he passed a drug test and the fingerprint test. He's not involved in this crime. He's just being charged with it. So the, the, the money puts him in, in the courtroom, and it's returned to you. The only way you don't get the money back is if he doesn't show up in court, which I assure you he will because it's his only way out of this mess. Gotcha. Once that's taken care of, we will advance his plane ticket, get him out of Turkey. We don't want to keep him here. Uh, not because he's not welcome, but it's not a good place to be. And after all the trouble he's gone through, I'm sure he'd want to get out of here as well. So, yep. you want to do this? You have a pen and paper? Yep, I do. Okay. Uh, do you know what the amount of the bond is? Are you? Um, they said thirty-five hundred. Yeah. Well, the exact figure is three thousand five hundred thirty dollars. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. What you're going to do is the most expedited way of doing this is through a. Uh, Western Union. Are you familiar with Western Union? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have you ever dealt with them before? Never, no. No? Do you know where they're located? Mm, I mean, I can look it up probably online or something. You can, yes. Just look it up on their website. You're going to be able to type in your zip code and the closest one to you. What's tricky about them, though, is that some Western Unions do not uh, send funds past 1000 or past 2000 or past $3,000. You have to contact them first by phone, um, ask if they do. Usually those are ones that are located inside common stores like a Kmart or a Publix or uh, stores that are similar in, in nature will allow you to send more funds. Gotcha. Now, okay. at, at the Western Union, you're going to take out a form, which is called a sender form. Okay. On the form, you're the sender, and the receiver is going to be Jeffrey himself. Okay. All you're going to need is a city and country. The city's called Istanbul, I-S-T-A-N-B-U-L, and uh, country Turkey, B-U-R-K-E-Y. Okay. There's nothing more to put on the form. You have to make sure that you, uh, I'm sure you know how to spell his name, but it has to be the exact name that's on the passport. On the passport, it's Jeffrey Walker. Okay. And uh, only he can pick up the funds. He has to show his passport. Not only that, he will have to have a money transfer control number. How did he get that number? Through you, because that number is given to you on the receipt that the Western Union will provide you. You also need to keep your receipt for your own personal reasons. Okay. Once the transaction is done, you're going to contact us here at the embassy. If I'm not available, you can ask for a uh, Captain Walker and uh, either by myself or him or whomever else. Uh, on the case number, by the way, if you don't know what the case number is, it's 7 394. 394, okay. Yeah, 7394. So if neither one of us are available, you just tell them uh, this is so and so calling for case number 7394, and they'll take the information from you. Now, from the time the bond has been, has been posted and given to the court, 30 minutes from that point on, he's in the courtroom once the court session starts, and then it all depends on how many cases are prior to his or not. If you're doing this tonight, I can guarantee you first thing in the morning, I can put him in the courtroom as the first the first case in front of the judge. That's for sure. Okay. Cool. Okay? But there is no, I mean, not that there's no rush. There's a rush and there's no rush at the same time. Um, you, if you want him in court tomorrow, you have the next 12 hours. Sir. Okay. And does it need to be in U.S. dollars or Turkish dollars or? Uh, it makes no difference. It, it really makes no difference. You don't have to specify. They, okay. will, they might ask if you want to say U.S. dollars, you can. If it's the Turkish uh, figure, you can do that as well. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, okay now, once the see. funds are returned,
return to you. What will happen is tomorrow, uh, the accounting department will be contacting you, and they will go over your information, and they will ask you if you want the funds returned to, uh, to you via bank wire transfer or certified check. That's your decision to make at that time. You decide how you want to proceed then. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Um, and then you said, like, what's the, how long from seeing the judge till like he's out and back on a plane? Like, um, do you know how long that takes? Let's uh, let's assume he's in court at nine. In he, the first case, he'll see the judge. It'll take five minutes, literally. Worst case is he'll have to write a testimony against the driver of the vehicle. He's clearly the guilty party, uh, and then he'll be released. He'll remain at the embassy. We're going to make him sign a few documents. We're also going to substitute his plane ticket. So it all it all depends on the uh, available flights. But I would say anywhere in the proximity of four to eight hours. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to head to Western Union. And is there a number I can call you guys back at? Um, does this number work for you guys as far as, like, if it's past uh, like, office hours or anything? This is a 24-hour phone number. You can call at any time you want. Okay. Obviously, I'm not here 24 hours. Okay. But there will always be someone here for any questions that you might have. Okay, and just ask for Sergeant Daniels. Uh, yeah, ask for Sergeant Daniels first, if not Captain Walker, if not the case number. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay. Um, and then uh, one last thing is um, when uh, you uh, realize that I just fucked you over, like you fuck everyone else over, you fuck. <laughs>